Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I know I've done key binding videos in the past. In fact, I think I've done three or four of them. But I wanted to make a new video because there are a few techniques I'd like to try out. And I also just have the interest, which I think is the best reason to make something. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, I'm going to open my memo pad. You can do this with Shift plus M if you don't know. I have a bunch of notes here that I actually typed up on my computer notepad and pasted in. The result was that I got to keep the outline in format, which was pretty cool. And it also lets me and you both look along to make sure that we get what's uh, being said and to make sure that I don't forget anything. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is define key binding. I know most people would already know what key binding is, but the general idea is that it's using a key to do an action, or in the case of games that have hotbars like Ion, to do something on the hotbar without having to click it with your mouse. As an example, let's just say I wanted to use a uh, word of revival. So I can go ahead and click it there and then it says, you know, I use the skill and I have to wait for the cooldown. The alternative is to hit my Alt plus E and do the exact same thing. And this is going to be the perfect cheesy transition into the next part, which is why. Well, I have two reasons. There might be more, but these are the two I think are most important. The first is that it makes you a better multitasker. And the reason for this is because whenever you use your mouse to click on something, you generally want to be looking at where your mouse is because it would suck to go to click something like Stamina Restoration and instead hit Etheric Field. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. Number two is that you have a better response time because when you have to move your mouse around all over the place, generally there's a bit of delay in uh, moving your mouse left, right, left, right. Sure, it's not long, it might be a second, but <laughs> when it comes to things like PvP, all those seconds count. Okay, now that we've gotten the basic ideas out of the way, let's talk about what you should keybind. Now you could be totally complex and approach this and say, I'm going to keybind all the things and just keybind every skill. This is bad because I don't think you should keybind everything first of all, and secondly, you don't want to overwhelm yourself with all these new keybinds that you're going to try and learn at the start. Especially if you want to be competitive with them because you're going to mess up and I guarantee it's not going to work at 100%. In fact, I would suggest you start off with a basic few keys and kind of get yourself used to those and build it up. Obviously this is going to be different from person to person, but it's always good to start simple. And what better way to start simple than to bind around the good old WASD keys. I'm of course talking about your movement keys, and you could have these already rebound to say ESDF, but Let's just talk about WASD because it's much more general. Now there are a few keys around these letters that I think are really good. They are Q, E, R, F. Before we talk about what these keys already are, I'm going to say that Q is good because it uses your ring finger, and then E, R, F are good because they use your index finger. F might be a bit of a stretch, but it's not really that bad. If it's awkward, then you don't have to use it, but these are good starter keys, I would call them. Yes, that. <laughs> Sorry, the words got fumbled up there for a second. Before I continue on with more keybinds, I need to mention Q and E because it's important. So these two letters are by default used for strafing left and right. That's of course when you face forward and move left and right while doing so. If you're going to go and replace these with keybinds, then you should at least remember that you can strafe without having to use them, which is my justification for just removing the strafing keys in general because I don't think they're necessary. You can do this by clicking right mouse which is the default for having your camera move around your character and using A and D. As a result this will let you strafe. It's a bit more complicated but I think it's worth sacrificing two letters to have potentially good keybinds. Okay let's get on to more advanced keys. I say advanced because they are not going to be as comfortable as Q, E, R and sometimes F. But I don't think they're too bad. These are Z, X, C, V, T, G. <laughs> We're doing the alphabet, guys. But seriously, Z and X, they are a little awkward because you kind of have to move some fingers back, or you can use your thumb, but they're not as fluid, I guess is the word. It's not to say they're really hard to use because I'm used to them after all this time. You just need to practice. And I like these letters too because anything around your W, UASD, like I said before, is really good to have keybound because you don't want to be moving your hand too much off of those keys because you're going to be needing to move a lot of the time. In fact, I'd argue you need to move all the time. And that pretty much is it for those letters. 
I could show you the different combinations I have, but the general rule of thumb I keep with these keys that are close to WASD is that you want to have skills that are shorter cooldown on letters that are closer to your uh, fingers where they would be at a, by default. So I have Q and E have skills that are just about 30 seconds, one minute, and it's more or less the theme with everything here. They're just about a minute or less for all my skills that are close. This could vary on your class, but I think it's better to have it this way because you can have a better learning experience and get into the habit quicker with skills that are shorter cooldown because you use them more often. <laughs> we call that logic. All right, and now we're going to get on to the super advanced stuff. That is using keys in conjunction with each other. Dun dun dun. <laughs> that monotone dun dun dun. There are three different keys that I think are good for combination. There could be more, depends on your keyboard, but everyone has these. They are left shift, left control, and left alt. I'm not sure if Ion differentiates left and right. I don't think it does, but some games might. And what you do is you actually hold down one of these three keys first and then hit another key. So say I did left shift plus one. It doesn't actually do anything here, but let me try left shift plus F1. There we go. So I branded something with a one and I have it actually branded for all six numbers. Just my F1 to F6. And these combination of keys is actually really useful because it lets you recycle letters you've already used. So it's efficient and, well, I guess efficient is all I need to say. And I do use it for especially alt. Yes, alt. I have alt for my healing and secondary hotbar skills. And there are other combinations you can use too. You don't have to use too many. Like I have Legion as Alt and G because I don't know, that's a weird set of uh, keys, but yeah, whatever's most comfortable with you. Oh, I should mention, you can also use mouse thumb buttons for key binding. I only have two, but you can use these in conjunction with the Shift and Control and Alt keys, as far as I know anyway, to do more key binding. I think this is also really useful because in my case, I put reactionary skills on my mouse thumb buttons and I use them in conjunction with shift for remove shocks and healing pots and dispels. So these are also considerations. It just goes back to the point, which is uh, there are so many different key bindings you can do. So it's more or less preference and what you become most comfortable with. Okay, so the last thing I need to mention are actions that are keybound. One of the most important actions I have keybound are flying and landing. The default for these are some weird keys by the enter button. I don't remember what they are, but I didn't like them because it was in the middle of your keyboard. I actually rebound them to shift plus Q and shift plus E. The logic for this is that shift is pretty natural for your pinky to be hitting. I think it's natural for most people. Maybe your hand's big, maybe it's small, <laughs> but it's not that bad. And Q and E are of course the easiest two keys to reach, in my opinion. So you combine these together and bada bing bada bam, you have flying and landing. Well, I can't do it now. Of course, you could always just click your wings, but I don't like doing that. It's, you have to bring your mouse down here. It's just messy. <laughs> and I actually rebound the action key from um, whatever it was by default into Z. I like Z. It's kind of out of the way. You can use your fourth finger, and or at least I use my fourth finger. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Key binding is, of course, unique to every person, so you're going to have your own preferences. They might seem weird to you, they might seem weird to me, it doesn't matter, because as long as it works for you, then it's all good. Is there anything else? Okay, the last note I have here is about different approaches to binding. I already mentioned this briefly before, but I believe that skills with shorter cooldowns should be easier to get, and skills with longer cooldowns should be a little harder to reach. The logic, of course, here is that, say I wanted to use etheric field, I have to use control plus one. You actually need to move your hand a bit to do that, at least I do. So that's a little awkward, but it's something I only use once in a while, and that is my justification. It's uh, kind of a weird one, but I think it works. And, okay, there we go. Remember, you do not have to bind everything. Do not try to do it. You can click still. Clicking is not bad. Clicking is good. And I think using your mouse is still important. I click my pots, and I remember one person a while back her name was Liv. She criticized me for clicking pots. <laughs> and it scars me to this very day. Well, no it doesn't. But I still remember it. And I don't think it's wrong that I click pots, because that's pretty much the only thing I click besides uh, my jelly here. Which I just use for no reason. Well, here we go. Reason enough. 
But anyway, that should do it for this key binding video. So I'm going to go ahead and put it together. I have a couple ideas for editing, but that is more or less it. So I want to do more videos like this, uh, the whole general helpful videos. If anyone has ideas, you can post them below or just leave feedback or even mention maybe the kind of key binding you like to use because input is valuable and you could give someone else a great idea. Okay, guys, that does it for me. You take care and have fun. Eh, not fun. Have fun using your keys. Wow. Just for that, I'm going to press all the keybinds. Yeah. But seriously, see you later.